So what the heck is a potage garden? Good morning y'all, I'm Tracy. Welcome to Just Dig It Farms. We have had a lot of questions lately about what exactly is a potage garden. We had Jason, Brooke, and Mary Carl from Cog Hill Farms come out and visit us a few weeks ago, which we were so happy they came. We just love them. They're awesome, amazing people. In fact, if you're not already following Cog Hill, y'all go follow them because they are awesome people. They have a lot of animals. They have an incredible homestead. They've just bought some new land that they're moving to and starting all over and building a farm from scratch there. And they're just a great family and an awesome channel to follow. So if you're not already following them, y'all go check them out. Cog Hill Farms. But anyway, they came out and visited us and they fell in love with my protege garden. They loved the whole idea of it. They loved the garden. In fact, I listened to one of their podcasts where they were talking about after seeing the protege garden and the design of it, it's completely changed where they were going to put their house. So they're, they're planning to incorporate a protege garden onto their farm. I'm not sure if they're going to call it a protege garden, um, they had a hard time pronouncing protege garden. <laughs> they kept calling it a protege and a potage and I don't know what all they were calling it, but it was pretty funny. But anyway, they can call it whatever they want to call it. We've had a lot of you join us recently from Cock Hill from the video that Jason did out here in our garden. You guys started following us and I just want to take a minute and welcome you to our channel and welcome you to our farm and welcome you to our family. Potage in French means the soup pot. And the word potage, P-O-T-A-G-E-R, actually comes from the middle French word potage, P-O-T-G-I-E-R, which was a cook that makes a thick soup or a potage, P-O-T-T-A-G-E, potage. Potage was a very common meal in Europe in the medieval times. Um, the peasants would pretty much just take whatever they could, whatever they had a means to, they would take it and just put it all in a pot and make a really thick soup. So it would be a mixture of vegetables and herbs and meat and whatever that they had a uh, means to get. And a lot of times the peasants, their gardens were just in their yards because they had little tiny homes and little tiny yards and they had to use every piece of property that they had to grow what they needed to sustain themselves. So whatever yard they had was actually a garden. So they, the idea of the protege garden is to just walk out your kitchen door with a basket in hand and harvest whatever was available and ready and that's what your meal was and that's where the soup pot comes from the potage they would just take whatever they had available throw it all in a pot and that would be their meal for the day so that's where the soup pot the potage the potage that's where all of that comes from Potage gardens date all the way back to medieval monastery gardens, and the monks created these gardens out of, out of a necessity to grow medicine, uh, for healing, and for food for people. Now, the original design of the potage was basically just four square shapes, 
and each bed had one mass planting of one herb. And that was the original design of the Potache Garden. It was believed that these four square beds represented the four rivers of the Garden of Eden. And later on, they said that it represented earth, fire, air, and water. So I love that. I love that spiritual significance of, of the um, beginning of the Potage Garden. So from this original design of the Potage Garden became this beautiful marriage of an English utilitarian style kitchen garden and the French ornate style garden. So that, that's where we're at with the Potage Gardens today, is it, it's a marriage of the two. So basically a Potage Garden is just a diverse mixture of fruits, berries, vegetables, herbs, flowers. It's, a, it's not only a beautiful, aesthetically pleasing garden, but it provides what you need. It provides food, it provides medicine, it provides household products like um, things to clean your home with. The, like the peasants used would harvest herbs from the garden and take them into their home to deter rats and rodents and bugs and stuff. And they would harvest flowers and take them to their, into their home and that was their decor. And they would harvest herbs for any kind of personal needs that they had like you know to make rose water or or whatever so that's the idea of a potage garden it it sustains you it helps provide food and medicine for you but it is also is very beautiful and aesthetically pleasing so i'm definitely not from france <laughs> i've never even been to france i haven't been to europe i haven't seen the european gardens or any of that yet it is on my bucket list and i'm determined that one day jean and i are going to go there but i am about as southern as you're gonna get i'm from alabama lived here most all of my life went to college in atlanta for just a little while but mostly i've been in alabama my whole life so i am about as southern as southern can get. So why don't I just call my garden a southern kitchen garden? Why do I call it a potage garden? Well, there's many reasons. First of all, I love the history of gardens. And I just think that the potage gardens, the old English cottage gardens, these gardens just have a rich history. And I love the history about them. And I love that the potage garden is just a sweet marriage of the english cottage garden style which is my absolute favorite style and the french style the english cottage garden is more of a style of a wild beautiful informal style garden where annuals are allowed to reseed and perennials are allowed to spread and sprawl and it's ever changing and I, I love that cottage garden style and the French style is more of an ornate formal controlled style so I love the marriage between the two of the the formal bones and the formal structure of the garden like most of my beds in the potage garden I have a lot of formal lines and a lot of structural pieces like I have some boxwoods that I'm adding to my garden and um, just that structure and that formality but it also has that cottage garden style that free wild informal style and I love I love that sweet marriage of the two and just the fact of the diversity that's in in the potage garden you've got herbs and flowers and vegetables and roses and uh, boxwoods and um, just all the diversity that's out here. Not only does this garden provide me food, it provides me medicine, it provides me home decor, it provides me beauty products, it provides a habitat for bees and butterflies and hummingbirds and nature and just the diversity of the potage garden is just beautiful to me. And also, I'm kind of designing my gardens and my orchard with spiritual significance. 
So I'm studying a little bit about the Garden of Eden and the Garden of Gethsemane and how those gardens were laid out and designed and the significance of all the different parts of the garden. And I'm kind of loosely designing my gardens with some of that same spiritual significance and elements that are in those gardens in the Bible. And I absolutely loved the fact that the original Potage garden design, the four square beds, was believed to represent the four rivers in the Garden of Eden in Paradise. So I really loved that too. And lastly, why not call it a Potage garden? I mean, Potage just sounds so romantic and captivating. Why wouldn't I call it a Potage? I have designed my protege garden to be right outside my kitchen window. That's my kitchen windows. And that's my front door. So I can look out my kitchen window and see my garden and I can come right outside my front door and walk right into my protege garden and harvest anything that I need that is in season for my meal or for my home or for medicine or for whatever I need or just for some beautiful flowers to put on my table. And this is exactly how the peasants would have done. They would have walked right out their kitchen door and into their protege garden. So welcome to my protege garden, y'all.
Thanks for hanging out with me in my protege garden today, y'all. I hope that this video has inspired you to design and grow your own protege garden or kitchen garden or whatever you want to call it. God bless you. Y'all have a great week and I'll catch you on the next video.